Hello, and welcome to Chick Beer with Hophead and Porter. I'm Pinger. And we're ready to go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this week, we're going to be trying the Sly Fox Phoenix Pale Ale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a um, pale ale. Um, it is 5.1% alcohol by volume, and... 13% Play-Doh. So we're going to be drinking some Play-Doh tonight? 13 oh. degrees. Oh, damn. It's okay. It's okay. All right then. Sly Fox, be here. We're excited. Um, you know, like the name. Good you It's kind of cool. <clears throat> um, Sly Fox Brewery is in Pennsylvania and Royers for PA. Which is actually really close to us, and uh, you know we'll have to try and go to the brewery and do a show or something pretty soon. So um, I know that I have had one Sly Fox beer before. It was not this, but I do not remember what it actually was. So I do know that I liked it, and I've heard good things about Sly Fox. And this uh, is another recommendation that we received. So thank you. So yeah, and this, this comes in a can. Um, I don't know why. There are certain beers that just do. I mean, all of uh, Oscar Blues, if you're familiar with them at all, they all come in cans. I really don't know why. I don't know what that preference is. But we pour them into a glass anyway, and uh, I don't think I've had a beer in a can other than like a lame beer that I could actually tell that it was from a can. So, we'll see. Should be interesting. Okay, well, uh, crack these open. The head grows pretty. It does. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> this is um. It's very. Yeah. It's like a nice deep amber color. It is, which is surprising for a pale ale. And uh, it is very clear mm -hmm. though. It I is very clear. clear. Um, the head is carrying a little bit of the color of the beer into it though. Mm -hmm. uh, That's usually a good sign. That is from what we've generally encountered. Kind of a good sign. <laughs> um, and it's a pretty thick head right now. And it's not going down that fast. It's it's, it's definitely kind of creamy. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, the smell smells like a pale ale. It smells like a pale ale. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fruity, I'm not. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit fruity. I don't know. I can't I can't picture it. It's, it's very light. It doesn't seem like it's really, really. There's a hint of something in there. It smells good though. It smells inviting. It smells like it's going to be refreshing. Yes, very refreshing. Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That's quite good. I don't know if it's kind of hoppy. It is hoppy. It's a little bit hoppy than I expected it to be. I mean, it is, uh, it's just a pale ale. It's not an IPA, so mm -hmm. I didn't really expect to be able to taste the hops. But, but it fades pretty quickly. It can, yeah. It's a little bitter in the front, um, with that hoppy flavor. I thought it was pretty smooth in the front. It didn't hit me until... No, it's smooth, but you can taste the bitterness. That's probably a better way to say it. It doesn't hit your tongue. It's not that bitter salt on your tongue, but the flavor is there. That, that bitter feel is there. And that's what I'm left with. Yeah. This is good. This is almost like a weak IPA is what it tastes like. It yeah, yeah. It's, I would be, it's not if powerful. If I tasted this like without that. knowing, I would have thought it was an IPA and not just a pale ale. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I think I like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. The fact that it's made in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. I think I like this. Yeah. Yeah, so... I want to like this. I think Think things it's will working. go into the <laughs> I think I can talk myself into it. Yeah. So what would you pair this with? I would imagine something uh, salty. I'd be really good with that. 
Mm. Um, maybe, I don't know. I like the salt and the, the hops. I think it just adds a little bit yeah. of mm, to it. But also something sweet might be really good too. Mm. I'm thinking more like um, a meal. Like this, I think would go with the meal. This is not too overpowering in any aspect. But I think there's enough flavor there that when you're eating it wouldn't necessarily be overpowering. Fish and chips would be mm. awesome. And you know what? You could make the batter out of the beer. That would be really good. That might be like a perfect thing. Mm. It just sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that sounds great. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think anything that's, you Something know, like light, batter fried. Like batter fried, but light in flavor. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe some shrimp, fried shrimp. That would be good too. Really tasty. Yeah, I think so. And a hamburger. Yeah, hamburger would be good with it, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. This is a, like this is kind of like an, almost an all-purpose beer. I think that like, this is highly drinkable. Mm -hmm. uh, it's flavorful enough that you could drink it alone and not be wanting for anything. But if you were to be eating, you would you would enjoy it just as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I definitely would. Definitely. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. I like it a lot. Um, it's not my favorite beer. It's not blowing me away, but it's surprising for a pale ale, and just just how nice it is to drink. This is something I would buy. I would buy for myself, just for the occasional you know, drink or beer, and if I had people coming over, I would this is definitely something I would buy. For sure. As a casual beer drinker, mm -hmm. I like it. Nice. And I'm always impressed with my beer. That's kind of how the, what I see in this. Like, you could be a beer drinker who loves beer and enjoy this, and you could be somebody who just drinks, you know, a couple different beers and that's about it, and like this too. This could possibly yeah. be your go-to beer. Definitely. So what about you, Porter? Would you buy a six-pack? Yeah, I'd buy a six-pack. I, honestly, for the price, now that I know what it is, I would probably get a case. Right. Um, if it's going to be like a go-to beer. Mm -hmm. Probably want to just keep some on hand instead of. This would be a, just yeah. a good beer to have in your fridge. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. And somehow, I know this is going to bother people, but I kind of like the can. I don't know. What, the design or just that it's in a can? The, the fact that it's in a can. Really? Because it makes it even more surprising when you taste it. That's true. Because it's true. It's it's a lot more than I was expecting, mm -hmm. honestly. That's the way the Oscar Blues is, too. You, you're like, oh, it's in a can. And there's always mm -hmm. a, there's a stigma about it being yeah. in a can. My um, only problem with the can is it looks like an energy drink. It does so, like, a little bit. The label, <laughs> the label does a little bit. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I've never seen an energy drink called <laughs> true, 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 true. No piranha here. But just under, like, I wouldn't go. It might like, not grab your attention. But you know what? If you're a place that's just beer, then true, maybe. True, true, true. But I think, yeah, I think no, the I candy really kind of plays to the disadvantage. Because you're yeah, like, you're cool. whoa, my mouth Phoenix is full of flavor. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I've died and been reborn. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. From the ashes. Unassuming cannon. <laughs> <laughs> That's it this week for Chip Beer. If you have any questions or recommendations, you can email us at hophead at hopheadandporter.com or visit our website at hopheadandporter.com. I fucking did it! Yeah! I did it! She did it. It's I the first it. time ever she's managed to do it. What do you call this? I was going to say it. I don't even know what I was going to say. Um, An extra. <laughs> extra. Oh, that's what it's called now. Clothes. No, it's called an extra. No, they're extras. <laughs> yeah. That's the intro extra. Come on. Logic. Use it. Words. And visit our website because we use words and logic while we drink beer. Oh. Mm -hmm.